Let us now discuss another example from the second model of syllogisms which is based on various possibilities. As you can see here, we have three statements and two conclusions. The given statements are some oceans are seas, all oceans are rivers, no river is a canal. And the two conclusions are all rivers can never be oceans. And the second conclusion is all canals being oceans is a possibility. Now as we can see here, the conclusion number 2 definitely is a possibility. Why? Because the word possibility has been given here. So we just need to check whether all canals can be oceans or not. And when we look at conclusion number 1, that is all rivers can never be oceans, we find that this is like a statement which simply says all rivers can never be oceans. So this is a definite conclusion and second conclusion is in terms of a possibility. So for the first conclusion, we need to check all possible diagrams and for the second one, if we can draw one diagram which proves this, we are through with this example. Let us first try to go with the basic diagram for the given statements. The first statement is some oceans are seas. So some oceans are seas can be taken as shown. So here we find that oceans and seas overlap each other. So some of the oceans are seas. The second statement is all oceans are rivers. So all the oceans have to be rivers. Now the second statement here can be shown in different ways but going by the basic diagram the rivers can be taken in this manner. So we find that all the oceans are inside the rivers. And the last statement here is no river is a canal. So there should not be any common part between river and canal. So we can completely take canals outside rivers. Now again there are various ways of taking canals. We can have overlapping between canals and seas. Right, but as we are going by the basic diagram, let us go for minimum overlapping. So no river is a canal can be taken as shown here. Let us now see which of these conclusions follow the basic diagram. The first conclusion here is all rivers can never be oceans. And as we have already understood, this is a definite conclusion. So it must be true not only in the basic diagram, but in all the various possible cases. Now as the conclusion says all rivers can never be oceans, we find that here all rivers are not oceans. So in the basic diagram, this is true. All rivers can not be oceans. So in the basic diagram, the first conclusion is true. That is all rivers are not oceans. But if you try to draw rivers such that rivers and oceans share the same circle because the statement says all oceans are rivers. So all oceans are rivers can be taken as shown by the red circle. So if we take the rivers as shown by the red circle, we find that all the rivers are oceans or oceans and rivers are equal. But the first conclusion says all rivers can never be oceans. That is, it is quite opposite to the red circle as shown in the figure. So we can say that conclusion number one is false. Why? Because though it satisfies the basic diagram, it does not satisfy the other possible cases. And since it is a definite conclusion, it must be true in all the cases. So we say that conclusion one is false. Now let us look at the second conclusion. The second conclusion here is all canals being oceans is a possibility. So we need to check whether all canals can be oceans or not. Now as per the basic diagram, we find that there is no overlapping between canals and oceans. So the given possibility is not satisfied with the basic diagram. Why? Because the conclusion says all canals must be oceans. But here we find that canals and oceans do not share a common part. Now if we try to draw canals in various cases and check whether this is true or not, we find that no river is a canal. So canals can never come inside the rivers. It must always be outside rivers. So if we take canals anywhere else also, we find that there is no overlapping between rivers and canals. So from this we can understand that since canals cannot come inside the rivers, all canals being oceans is never possible. So even conclusion number two which says all canals being ocean is a possibility is false. Why? Because it is not possible in any of the cases. So our answer for this question should be both conclusion one and two does not follow. Both conclusion one and two do not follow the given statements. So friends with this example we finish the topic of syllogisms. Practice well on this topic. Why? Because this is one of the definite questions which comes from reasoning. See you in the next session. Thank you.